Yeah, I know you're tired of seeing this thing. Sorry for the dryer sound in the background, but after I did my last video, I got the VFD tuned in. I figured out how to navigate my way around the control panel. So to turn the VFD on, close the door. I want to just do a quickie quickie in case anybody's got one of these lensy VFDs and you've got this little control panel and you don't know what where to begin with. What you do is you use the navigation arrows. So the display just shows you what the current running status is. Right now it's not running at anything, but when you have it running it'll tell you the megahertz or the hertz that it's running at. If I go to code, each of these codes up on the top here are different settings inside of the VFD, but the one that I was focused on was 12 and 13. And these were both set to zero. I made them two and a half. The factory setting is five, which seems to ramp up like forever. But two and a half seems to be okay for right now. You set the values. I hit enter just to verify. But then you just left arrow back and you're back in display mode. It's ready to go. There is a way you can manually override the controller and use the buttons to move the VFD to test it out. But it's not that hard to come over to here and put them on the glass. Fire up our Linux CNC. Of course, it wants to focus on a dot of oil. But we'll see right here. We'll CNC right here. Take it out of V-stop. Homer out. And another thing I want to point out here is that I didn't realize that when the software fires up, even though it's in lathe mode, you have to select diameter mode with G7. So I'm going to have to put that into my config file to default it to diameter mode. Once it's in diameter mode, the jog buttons work proper so if I go to 1000 it's 1000 on the diameter not 1000 on the radius and then when I have it in diameter mode when I go to my tool offset page and set my touch off tool X I can set the diameter instead of having to set the radius so just a couple of notes to be aware of the machine will not default to diameter mode unless you command that G7 and you can go back to radius mode with G8, and you'll see that the display changes between the two. So getting back to the VFD, I'm gonna keep this one quick. I've, I've been doing a lot of long videos and I apologize for that. Everybody, you know, people have the attention span of uh, gnats these days and 40 minute videos just uh, don't garner a lot of attention. So here's the basic 200 RPM. Doesn't really seem like it changes much, but then when we go to MDI, if I say G97S1000M3, you'll see it ramps up a little bit. If I go back and I stop, if I bring that up, and I say S2000 M3. You'll see that you'll see that the acceleration ramps it up instead of it slamming to 2000 RPM. So what I'll do is to show you a little bit more. I had an issue with this when it was at zero. It would ramp up hard but then when I tried to decelerate it would just stop the entire spindle and would alarm out because it was too hard on the drive so let's start this up 2000 
I'll bring it down to 500. And it brings it down nice and smooth. So I still have to get the... I still have to get the encoder feedback to play nice with Linux CNC so I get the full closed loop. If anybody knows anything about getting full closed loop, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm, I know I'm missing one or two HAL pin settings that I have to work through. I haven't had a chance to get around to this much, so I'm just taking it one day at a time. The, um, I do want the full closed loop control and I have to get the uh, one pulse per revolution encoder set up for my index for threading. But you'll notice I have been taking some skim cuts. I was testing out diameter the other day and the diameter that I cut here, it's not tapered, but it's not the right size. So I'm gonna have to dial in my x-axis travel and my z-axis travel to the screws that I have, uh, dial out the backlash, things like that. So when I do that, maybe I'll hook up my potato camera and use that to record in a nice, stable environment. But I don't know. I've been doing the <laughs> doing those Arduino videos, and that potato camera is just uh, not really doing it for me. But it's all I have. So that's all for now. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you soon. So that's all for now. We will uh, that.